act of compassion. Only one person stepped forward to help today when police say an Avondale teenager stepped into traffic on Reading Road. Tonight, that teen is fighting for his life. Nine on your side, reporter Tom McKee has been working this story all day for us today. Tom? Well, Clyde, the question here tonight is, what would you do if you saw a person lying in that driveway after being hit by a car? Well, that was the question facing our former colleague Chick Poppy this morning here in Avondale. He chose to make a difference, to rush in to comfort 18-year-old Keontae Cephas. 8.30 Wednesday morning, Reading Road in Prospect Place. A car hits Keontae Cephas hard. The impact cracks the windshield. Former Nine News photographer Chick Poppy stops his flower delivery van to help. It's a human life, and he was hurt. He was really hurt bad. Cephas was lying on the ground as Poppy approached. His breathing was shallow. He was uh, bleeding out of the mouth bad. So uh, my concern was to try to keep him conscious. Police and paramedics quickly arrived to take over, but the incident struck a nerve. I have a grandson by the same name, so it kind of hit home, and I held on to him and rubbed his back to try to keep him awake because I thought I was going to lose him. Police say the preliminary investigation points to Cephas triggering the accident. The pedestrian, um, to our knowledge at this point, um, ran out into the street into the path of oncoming traffic. The driver of the striking car was a 16-year-old male. Neither he nor his female passenger was hurt. Right now it appears to be a, uh, an auto accident where the individual was traveling north on Reading Road within conditions and laws but the investigation will make that determination. As data on the crash was being gathered, Poppy was miffed at bystanders who didn't rush to the victim's aid. He's laying there by himself. Oh my God, was that your child standing, laying in the street? Would you just stand there and look at him? And I thought if he starts choking, then somebody's got to help him. And that's what I was there for. Now, Cincinnati police just gave us this release, which says excessive speed and impairment do not appear to be factors in this crash. But they'd like for information. You can call Crime Stoppers with that. Meanwhile, Cephas was on his work to on his way to work at the food service operation in Cincinnati Zoo, remains in critical condition tonight at UC Medical Center. Tom McKee, night on your side, live in Avondale.